All you need is a piece of Stardust vinyl for the background, or two if you want the back to look as good as the front, and then some clear vinyl scraps for the pocket. Okay, so take your piece of Stardust vinyl or croc, whichever one you want to get, it doesn't really matter. This has a soft backing. And you're going to cut this to size at 16 and a half wide and about 20 inches tall. Now if you want to go taller, that's fine. This, this is a good size I found for hanging up on a wall, like beside the door, you know, the side door going out to the car or something. And what I envisioned is putting sunglasses or keys in here, maybe, I don't know, headphones, some little stuff that you tend to have in your hands and kind of lose because you don't really have a spot to put it. If you wanted to, you could put binding on the top edge of this. That makes it a little bit fancier. But I'm just going to do it the quick way. All right, so there's pocket number two. Now for the top pocket, I'm going to make it for smaller objects. So it's only going to be about four inches tall. I'm just going to cut that over here with my Havel's rotary cutter and my Havel's mat, which I love. Oh, now see, this is a scrap piece, and I try to use scrap pieces in my tutorials because I have to use them up, but it's not quite wide enough. But that's okay because I'm just going to center it, and I will sew down each edge and across the bottom and do my dividers as normal. The only thing about this one, because it's not going all the way to the edge, is I'm going to have to keep it in place somehow. And because it's going to be for me, I don't mind uh, the holes that pins make. I'm just going to throw two pins in it. But remember, those holes will not come out because this is vinyl, not cotton. So I'm okay with that, though. Make it work. So now we can take a Sharpie. Because with alcohol wipes or a little bit of alcohol on a cotton ball, the Sharpie will come right off the vinyl. I'm going to make some dividers here. I'm going to measure five inches in and draw a line. Now we'll take it to the sewing machine with a Teflon foot. It's really important that you use a Teflon foot, otherwise you can run into trouble and the, the foot will stick to the vinyl, which you don't want. That's no fun. Oh, look. Okay, I'm just going to place this under here.
come in with your ruler and you can trim off any excess vinyl on the sides if you've got it there. Okay, so for my example, I put in grommets at the top and then hang this on hooks. This is by my daughter's bed. She keeps her, you know, toys and sunglasses and her book and headphones and pens and stuff in it. So you could put in grommets uh, or you can just use a dowel rod with little, uh, oh, I forgot my dowel rod. Mine are two inches in, and I just take a one and a half inch by four inch piece of vinyl and fold it over, and then measure two inches in from the edge. This will be on the PDF, so don't worry. And then you can just slide your dowel rod through there, and it's ready to hang. For overachievers who want a nice back finish instead of the white, you can either hot glue, glue gun, or sew two pieces together like this. I would use Wonder Clips if you're going to sew. Maybe I'll do it for this one so you can see. And then also your hang tabs are, are inside as well. So that's kind of cool. And you would just sew all the way around the edge. And then both.